Alina Haba is not quite sure what to make of the fact that her client Donald Trump has to pay out hundreds of millions of dollars at this point, really, in just a, about a week and a half. And so during a recent interview with Fox News late last week, she was asked by host Martha McCallum, uh, what's Trump going to do about the hundreds of millions of dollars he's got to pay? And Alina Haba immediately fell apart, just crumbled when asked that question. Let me read you this exchange between Fox News host Martha McCallum and Trump lawyer Alina Haba. McCallum asks, Alina, before I let you go, any update on the hundreds of millions of dollars that the former president's due to pay in the New York case? I mean, there was a request to make it a smaller amount. I mean, where, where does that stand? Okay. Easy enough question, right? Like, hey, by the way, um, you know your client that has to pay hundreds of millions of dollars? Uh, what What's up with that? So, so she's already kind of putting Alina in a corner. Like, Hey, remember when you screwed up Donald Trump's trial so bad that he has to pay $454 million? Um, what's up with that? So Alina Haba does her best to keep it together, but here's her response. Um, we're waiting on an appeal. Uh, obviously the judge was receptive to some of our arguments. <laughs> we appeared before the appellate division just last week. He obviously amended the order in terms of allowing the Trump children and Trump family to continue to operate their business and to get loans, which, which was a big step in the right direction. Uh, as I've always said, Martha, this is going to be a long game. Uh, we, we knew we were not going to be successful. We lost the trial. We lost before the trial started. And we're just going to have to push and push and push and hopefully have our facts and, and heard case heard just, just like it was last week and chip away at this. McCallum says, and what's your understanding of when the rest of the money's due, Alina? Because you didn't answer the question, right? Like, Hey, uh, what's the status of the money? And she's like, well, you know, we're, we're, uh, we got some appeals. We got some motions, right? And she continues. She says, it's do shortly, but we have pending appeals. We, we have pending motions that we have to have decisions on. So, so we're going to be patient and wait. McCallum responds. Okay. <laughs> so McCallum is just asking a very simple question. Like, Hey, he owes a lot of money. You asked the judge to accept less money. What's up with that? And Alina Haba couldn't even answer the question. She's like, there's, there's, there's motions and there's uh, appeals. The judge actually did one good thing for us. Alina, tell the rest of the story. Cause see, that's what you forgot. And Martha McCallum knows the answer to her own question because we've actually already had a ruling on it. We're not waiting for the decision as Alina Haba said. The judge said no. The judge straight up said no. Okay. So first and foremost, there was no reason for Martha McCallum to even ask the question because the judge had long before this interview issued the decision. We know where he stands on accepting hundred million dollars versus $454 million. That's not pending. That was decided. And Alina Haba for the life of her couldn't be honest and say, listen, the judge rejected that argument. We're going to, we're going to regroup. We're going to come back. We've still got plenty of time. We're going to submit a new filing. We've got new uh, arguments we're going to make. And, and we're confident that, you know, if we can get an audience before this judge, we will be successful in this and move forward with the appeal. I'm not a lawyer. And that was a damn good response. If I do say so myself, that's how you respond to that question. You don't go off on these tangents about, well, I mean, there's, there's things over here and oh, there's some stuff over here. You answer the damn question because you know, the answer, the host knows the answer. And McCallum, I feel was putting Alina Haba in a bit of a trap. And that's why when Alina Haba was done talking, McCallum was just like, okay, okay. I gave you the opportunity to tell the truth and you crumbled to dust.